We're building a greener Nova Scotia. The decisions we make today are gonna have an impact well into the future. It's important that we get it right. We're approaching 60% renewable power right now on our grid, and our goal is to get to 80% by 2030. The path to 2030, the path to greening the grid and greening the economy, it's really a collaborative effort with multi-levels of government, with our customers, with suppliers, with First Nations. And it's gonna take that combined collaborative effort we're definitely in this together. It's very important to me that our customers know that we're listening, that we hear them, and based on that input and that advice that we're making good decisions. As we make this transition, it's gotta be a reliable one and an affordable one. Massive changes are needed to get to where we need to go. We started the decarbonization journey back in 2005. We've always had the hydro facilities, but adding wind to the mix. We're working with communities to install solar gardens. We're doing a lot of research on electric vehicles and on bi-directional chargers. Battery storage at the home level could be paired with solar panels. The smart meter allows us to share with consumers their actual usage patterns and help them manage their use of the electricity. This really is a pivotal moment. Every day I wake up with a real sense of urgency, but I've also got a sense of confidence. As fellow Nova Scotians, we are committed to getting it right. One of the reasons I was really attracted to this role and moved my family to Nova Scotia was being a part of that transition. It's for our neighbors, for our communities, for our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren. I get a lot of pride and satisfaction out of that.